Thank you very much, Johnny Ashen. Well, we've been waiting to interview him since he was sworn in. Senator Bill Cassidy in the studio with us. We have a lot of things to get to. Welcome back to Louisiana. Thank you, Lauren. Yes, absolutely, and congratulations. Now, you just introduced a bill in Washington that would help veterans better transition into society. Tell us a little bit about that. A lot of veterans go into the military, are trained to be emergency medical technicians. They come back and they have to go through training to be an emergency medical technician. That's crazy. Um, they have a needed skill for our communities and they're already trained. It would ease their transition back into the civilian workforce, but also benefit the community. It's good for all, so we're, we're hoping it will be considered. Of course, with your background in healthcare in the capital city, this isn't a 100% federal issue, but you might have some insight with the closure of Earl K. Long and the General's Mid-City ER. What is next for the Baton Rouge community? What, what do we do moving forward? Yeah, obviously the uh, Mid-City area in North Baton Rouge is much less served than it once was. It, it kind of points that we need comprehensive health, I shouldn't say comprehensive, but health care reform that actually works for folks. I think the concern of the governor has been that Medicaid, as it's currently structured, is taking funding from universities and schools and everything else. If we just expand Medicaid, as was suggested, sure, Medicaid does well, but colleges get cut even more than they've been cut. So we need a reform which actually addresses those issues, but provides for everybody, no matter who they are, they can get the service they need. Yeah, definitely a struggle our community is facing right now. Now, something that you had your name behind when you campaigned for U.S. Senator, the Keystone Pipeline, we're hearing the president is going to veto that. What happens once he does? Because it sounds like he's going to. Yeah, he, he does. Uh, and I don't understand it because his own State Department says that if Keystone XL is built, there will be a lower carbon footprint, less oil spilled, lives saved, and 40,000 jobs created while diversifying our national security. We don't depend on Venezuela for oil. We get and get it from Canada. But that said, he still says he's going to veto it. Uh, I'm sure it will be considered again in the future, but what we need right now is everyone who cares about this issue, look up for those senators who oppose it, contact your friends who live in their states, have them contact their senator to say help override a presidential veto. Something else the president has vowed to fight back on is immigration. The federal judge just ruling against his order, where do you stand and where does Washington stand on his stance. We should stand with the Constitution. The federal judge says, although he didn't rule on a constitutional basis, but what he said was that the, the, is that the president can decide not to prosecute somebody, but he can't decide to give them Social Security and Medicare benefits. The president not only was allowing people in, but also giving them work permits and other things, overstepping his constitutional responsibility as a president. The judge has said Congress and the president should work together. I agree with that. I agree with the judge. Has anything surprised you about Washington since you've been there? Uh, you know, I was as a congressman, obviously, I had some sense of what was going on. And I can't say it's been surprising. Uh, it's just a, it's, it's an honor to be elected. And it's an honor to represent our great state at a time of great troubles. And with that honor comes a real sense of challenge. And I just hope to live up to that challenge and to, to the honor that the voters have given. Best of luck to you representing our state. Senator thank you, Bill Cassidy, thank you for being with us this morning. When we come back to potential candidates getting attention in the